Hey everyone, it's Jojo and I'm bringing you a Bakugan Armored Alliance unboxing and review. Today I have a Target exclusive Legendary Battles Versus pack featuring two Fusion Bakugans. On the left we have Halcor X Ramparion and on the right is Pegatrix X Gilator. And I gotta say the new Fusion Bakugan look amazing. I especially love this version of Halcor and Ramparion. It looks super neat and here we have another graphic of Pegatrix and Gilator and the two Bakugan here itself and I am digging all of these colors that they have. All the paint job looks really really nice and they do come with Baku gear as well. So this is the front of the packaging. Uh, here's a bottom view of the barcode in case anyone wants to find this at the store. And once again we do have the uh, Target exclusive logo on the top right. And it says exclusive Bakugan and cards. Here on the back we have another graphic of the Bakugan in toy form. So we got a versus symbol in between them, so it's kind of like a battle pack to get you started. And here on the right we have the rest of the contents of this Legendary Battles pack. And that's pretty much it. The back of the packaging looks a little bleak, but eh, that doesn't matter. Let's get to unboxing. All right, and this is everything that comes in this Legendary Battles pack. There are no instructions, no rule sheets, or not even a simplified version of the game, the rule sheets for that. Um, it's just the Bakugan, the cards, the Baku gear, and the cores. And my guess is there's no instructions, is because these Bakugan fold up kind of like core Bakugan, so they're not too hard to put together, but they are a little bit bigger than a core, so it's kind of like a halfway between a core Bakugan and an ultra Bakugan, so it's not that complicated to put it back together, which is why there's no instructions. I'm not sure why there aren't any rules, especially for Fusion Bakugan, since it's pretty new. Um, I know there are rules in other packs, just not this one for some reason, which which I think would be a little helpful. But I'm pretty sure there are other ways we could look at the rules for fusion. Not that hard. Anyway, again, here's everything. We're gonna take a look at the cores first. So we got two green fists. You get plus one damage on one of them and then plus 50, plus two damage. And that these two apply to any Bakugan. There's no restrictions. But when we come to here, we have this F symbol for fusion. This is only applicable to Bakugan that have been fused together. So if you roll with your fused Bakugan and you pick this up, you could get 500B. Let's say, for instance, your opponent doesn't have a fused Bakugan and rolls on this. It's worth nothing, except if the card has a symbol, a shield symbol, and then there's a bonus on the card. But other than that, it doesn't gain the bonus on the core. And next up we have a helix and this says only for fusion again plus 300 and plus two frost strike and you notice the and there are some cores that have fusion only plus 200 uh, plus 300 and then they'll have another one for plus two whatever uh, so a non-fuse would only get that plus two in that situation but not for this one, I'm just trying to explain. A fused would get both of the stats. Um, but for this one, only a fused B Bakugan could get this core. And next up we have the cards, and it comes with some really neat artwork. So we have the Halcor and Ramparion character card. So this is the non-fused one. This is just them like next to each other. So you need a helix and a fist to play it, a green fist. And we have some pretty neat artwork there. So we have a an Auralis Ramparion and a Darkest Halcor. 500 B and six damage that's starting and if you pay four energy you get to fuse your card which you just do by flipping your card so now this is a darkest and auraless card so again helix and a fist to play it it becomes a hundred b and 10 damage and you can see the fusion symbol down there in the middle and then next up we have pegatrix and gilator so this is just a Arliss card, where Gilator is the Arliss faction and Pegatrix is the Chaos. You need a shield and a green fist to play, and it starts off with 400 B power and 2 damage. And instead of paying energy to fuse, if you land on a shield or if you land on a fist, you could fuse. So you don't have to pay energy. That's pretty awesome. You can save your energy for other things. And when you fuse, it becomes Chaos and Arliss put together. And I love this artwork, it looks super neat, really great. 
and it becomes 803, which is, wow, that's really low compared to something like this. <laughs> so you get 800, 800, and then 10 damage, 3 damage. But I guess on the upside of this, you don't have to pay energy, you just have to roll on a core. So that's just more about your skill on rolling. But yeah, it's like really like off kilter compared to each other, in my opinion. And then next up we have the ability cards or the Baku gear, which look amazing. So these are promo cards, which are exclusive to this legendary battle set. This is a Baku Strength. It costs 6 energy to play. It is a Baku action. You get 1300B. Check out that artwork. It looks amazing. You can see the promo logo down here on the bottom right. It looks great. It's uh, stomping on. Um, I forgot who that one is, but it's stomping on another Baku. It looks great. And nothing on the back side. And again, the rest of these cards are all holographic. It looks really great artwork so we have a baku gear this is darkest destroyers cost two energy to play you get plus shadow strike and you gain 200 b and plus one damage and then we have baku spring one energy to play it's a baku action you get plus shadow strike and you could draw one card and lastly we have chaos slashers this is a baku gear Costs four energy to play. This looks. Uh, I love the artwork. I love that it pops out of the frame. It looks really nice, especially if it's hollow too. It just looks really like a really dynamic artwork to it. Uh, okay, sorry. So this is Baku gear. You get plus one frost strike and plus 400 B and no damage. But yeah, all these cards look amazing. I love the artwork of the new uh, Bakugan fusion cards. They look great. So I haven't been able to like collect cards because distribution is just so weird right now so i'm honestly i'm just really interested in the bakugan battling toy game it's just it's, it's it feels a little bit more fun to me and i just like appreciate the the look of the toy and all the details and stuff which is why i really love this new fusion thing that they're doing with the bakugan all right and finally we are moving on to the bakugan first in ball form let's start off with Halcor X Rimperion. So here are the Baku gear. We got these two Darkest Blasters, which I believe also come in Pyrus. Um, so these are just the blasters that go on the side. We don't have the actual pack that goes on top. And then here we have Halcor X Rimperion in ball form. And I absolutely love this golden paint app here. So we have the Darkest symbol and the Arlis symbol on the other side to represent both factions. Yeah, this gold really pops out. Everywhere else is just kind of plain, just all dark down here in the middle, but you can kind of see the, the toes, the green toes, and the white here on the legs. Um, but other than that, like, this gold really pops out on this side. Again, just really plain, going down like the actual tire of the Bakugan. And I do have Ramparion here to compare it when I open it up. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the Armored Alliance version of Halcor, so I can't really compare that, but I've seen enough pictures to know how it looks like. Anyway, let's get this Bakugan open. Oh, and there you go. It's just kind of popped off camera. All right, and here we have Halcor X Ramparion. All right, so we got the three iconic heads of Halcor, but we have the body of Ramparion. Very turtle-like and round, so we got to put him right there in the background just for references. Uh, but yeah, I kind of like this um, hexagon pattern that they're having here. And let me pull up the card just so we could see a better graphic of it of how it looks like in the TV show. It looks great. I loved all the armor plating that they took from Rimperion and just slopped it onto Halcor. It looks great. Unfortunately, you can only really see that in the shell on the side. Not really so much on the neck because um, yeah, I, I'm in love with all these plate platings on the neck of Halcor. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't see that on the actual toy again just on the side uh, you can kind of see some scales here also representing Ramparion and then there's the B power here printed in uh, neon green which is pretty neat side view of the head sculpt which looks like a combination of Halcor and Ramparion just a little bit so I thought that was pretty neat uh, here's the front view it does have like stubby legs kind of like Ramparion as well and just this, the other side with the Aurelis symbol. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the tail also kind of doesn't come up like Rimperion, but you, again, there's, you could see the scales on it to represent that fusion of Rimperion. And 
Let's bring out the Baku gear, which can be applied on the side here. Just like that. And like that. And now he's fully equipped with some Baku gear on the shell. And it looks like there is a little slot on the top. Let's see if that could fit there. Kind of. No, not really. <laughs> it's just a hole. I thought it was like another... Well, maybe not for this. Maybe you could put some other Baku gear on top of on top of the head. All right, and that is Halcor X Remperion Fusion. And to put this Bakugan back into ball form is quite easy. Again, like I said, it's kind of like a halfway point between a core Bakugan and an Ultra. So you just tuck in the head like that, tuck in the feet. There's no manual parts anyway. So, and then tuck the top heads back and then tuck in the tail. Make sure that stays and it is all closed and ready for battling again. Next up, we have Pegatrix X Gillator in ball form, and this is absolutely gorgeous. Pegatrix always had a really nice like sculpt to it, really good details, even in ball form. You could see all the feathers just engraved in there, sculpted in there, and the golden paint just really helps that pop out. And I do like they use some silver paint as well. Overall, it just looks so much better than the other Bakugan. Um, again, a little plane going down the middle. That's just the tire though. Just the paint apps here just, just look super, super great. So let's just roll it and see how it opens. There we go. Here we have Pegatrix X Gillator. And right away, it's got a really long body and a very, very high wingspan. Um, it's got the body of Gillator, but the wings and the head of Pegatrix. And it looks so great. All right, so let's put that down for now. And here we have Gillator for comparison and uh, Pegatrix as well. So definitely you could see the similarities in the body with Gillator. And of course, the huge wingspan of Pe Pegatrix here just on its own. So here's an up close view of this awesome Bakugan. Again, the face looks like a combination of Gillator and Pegatrix. It's got like a broader face, kind of like Gillator, as opposed to regular Pegatrix, where it's just kind of a little bit slimmer. These shoulders look great. Again, very similar to Gillator here with the golden paint. It just, just looks awesome. Like, I don't know, just golden armor <laughs> looks great. And here on the side, you can see the hex holes for the Baku gear. Uh, they even added a little bit of silver on the underwing. And uh, you can see a little bit more detail um, on the underside of the wing as well. And I do like they added this little bit of blue paint from the Chaos faction. Um, I would have been a little bit upset if it was just plain, um, but I'm glad that they added that. Uh, we got more silver paint down here on the back of the legs and it just repeats on the other side. But yeah, here, check out these wings. They look amazing and I love that the wings are just like super high and that they are painted so they really stick out. And I love that the factions are on each side. Here's the B power on the back of the neck. Yeah, this, oh man, I love the way this looks. It looks great. Um, the wings are, they do look a little bit high, but I, it's its okay. <laughs> it's its fine. It, they they did, did the best they could with Gillator and Pegatrix, but it looks awesome. Oh my gosh, so great. My favorite out of both of them. Like, I love the artwork of Halcor and Remperion, but I love the actual Bakugan itself of Pegatrix and Gillator. All right, so here we have the Baku gear. Um, these are kind of like thrusters rather than blasters unlike the other one. So imagine you put it like this way instead of this facing the other way. I might have put in that on backwards, but who cares? Anyway, here it is. Pegatrix X Gillator with the Baku gear put together. And to put this Bakugan back together, you just fold the head back and the shoulders back and then the legs come and the tail kind of comes up on top and you close the wings and it's back in ball form. So that is it for my unboxing and review of this legendary battle set featuring two new Fusion Bakugans. Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time with more Bakugan Armored Alliance. See you soon.